Hello and welcome to your midweek check-in, check-up. I can't remember. I've changed the wording so many times. Look at all of my faces, all of my beautiful faces. As if one heaton wasn't enough, now you have a plethora of me. Okay, a few things that you need to know. Uh, not a whole lot to update you on. Make sure that you're doing all of your reading. Uh, keep up to date on Stephen King's On Writing. Remember that the best writers are readers. Make sure that you're reading that short story, The Ones Who Walk Away from Omalas by Ursula K. Le Guin. I've had a couple of you email me about this, that this story blew your mind hole. And it's supposed to. I don't know what I would do. What would you do to that poor kid? These crazy thought experiments in fiction form. Make sure you're exploring the link with different types of points of view. I've had lots of emails, not lots, I've had a few emails uh, asking what texts are appropriate to modify for this assignment. And the answer is, I don't care. I don't care. So you can use something, uh, you can use your first project, you can use any of the discussion board projects that we've done, as long as you modify the point of view. So transitioning from first person to third person, or third person to first person, if you want to get cray, you could try a second person, which is very difficult. So if you're up for the challenge, by all means, go ahead and do second person. Okay, so make sure that you complete your point of view discussion board by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. Also for those comments in the discussion board, make sure that you're actively participating in your peers' writing. So a lot of you kind of have the hey bro comments where you're like, hey bro, I like what you did here keep going. And it, it means nothing, right? Like you could say the exact same comment on everybody's posts and no one would know the difference. So try to truly engage with the text, actually demonstrate that you read their work. Uh, the best thing you can do in this situation is to actually quote from the text and say, I really like this passage because X, Y, and Z, or I think that this passage right here can be improved if you did X, Y, and Z. So truly demonstrate that you're engaging with the work. I know that there's a minimum word count for that, uh, but that's that's a minimum, right? That's the bare minimum for like a passing grade. So go beyond that. Go beyond that and actually show your classmates that you're really engaging with their work that they've worked so hard on. Okay? So do all that by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. Drop by for my office hours between 12 and 2 if you need help or have questions. Uh, if you don't remember how to do that, check out this file right there. In order for Google Hangouts to work, you have to add me as a contact or as a friend. So use this email address right here, scott.heaton at my.tccd.edu. If you're having difficulty with that, please email me or contact me via Remind. I haven't had any complaints about people not being able to contact me. Uh, another thing, please submit all of your late work. I know this is really bonkers and it's something that college professors should never say, but I will accept your late work. So I've had so many uh, students that are emailing me really panicked because they couldn't submit their assignment because they're an essential worker. There's just lots of things that are going around. I understand this is not a normal time. Therefore, I'm not going to address late work in a normal way just submit. I don't care if it's a week late, two weeks late, three weeks late, four weeks late. I don't care. Just submit, 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 submit. You don't have to email me asking me, is there any way, is there any chance of me passing this class? Can I get my grade up? Uh, you don't have to explain to me what's going on unless you just need an ear to hear you. You don't have to be apologetic. Just submit, just submit, submit, submit. Okay. All right, so for a little bit of encouragement, I wanted to read a blessing. Uh, this comes from an Irish poet, whoa, whoa, whoa. an Irish poet that I love. His name's John O'Donoghue, past tense. Was John o'donoghue I guess, I guess if you're dead, it's still your name, right? Anyway, he passed away just recently. He's a really, really cool guy. So this blessing, it really kind of poems, um, it's called For the Interim Time, and I think it fits really well with everything that's going on right now because we don't really know what life is going to look like. Okay, so maximize the Here we go. 
All right, here we go for the interim time. When near the end of day, life is drained out of light and it is too soon for the mind of night to have darkened things. No place looks like itself. Loss of outline makes everything look strangely in between. Unsure of what has been or what might come. In this wan light, even trees seem groundless. In a while, it will be night. But nothing here seems to believe the relief of dark. You are in this time of the interim, where everything seems withheld. The path you took to get here is washed out. The way forward is still concealed from you. The old is not old enough to have died away. The new is still too young to be reborn. You cannot lay claim to anything in this place of dusk. Your eyes are blurred and there is no mirror. Everyone else has lost sight of your heart and you can see nowhere to put your trust. You know you have to make your own way through. As far as you can, hold your confidence. Do not allow your confusion to squander this call which is loosening your roots in false ground that you might come free from all you have outgrown. What is being transfigured here is your mind, and it is difficult and slow to become new. The more faithfully you can endure here, the more refined your heart will become for your arrival in the new dawn. So, all that to say, I hope that you're able to use this time to grow and understand the things that you want to do and the person you want to be and try not to just kind of squander in all of the news and pessimism and uncertainty but really seize hold of the fact that you are forced to be with yourself and your thoughts and hopefully those that you love so you all are awesome hang in there we have next week and then just a couple more days after that and then we're done we're done with fewer than two weeks left so hang in there you've got this i'm gonna do everything i can to help you out just submit 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 just get something into me okay y'all are wonderful humans i will talk to you on monday